Hey, what's happening people? It's Ramon here from Neek Sports with your weekly news from Arsenal. And where else can we start but by saying, welcome home, Edu. So yeah, Arsenal sign Edu Gaspar, former Arsenal player. Um, has become Arsenal's first ever technical director. Um, Edu, of course, an uh, invincible at Arsenal, a double winning uh, champion as a, as a player. Played at Arsenal for uh, a few years, about five, four or five years at Arsenal in the early 2000s. He was, um, Edu was the first uh, pl player in the match that I saw at Arsenal against Middlesbrough Highbury. He scored an own goal and we lost 3 0 and handed the title to Man United. But, um, as a player, I, I, I love Eddie, man. He, he was a sick player. And, and we've now brought him in as a, as a technical director. Um, good move. It's a move that had been ongoing for a few weeks. I'm just even saying it was months that we first started speaking to Eddie about potential role at Arsenal. He, of course, was um, Brazil's technical coordinator uh, during the Copa America and, and before. So he had duties to attend to over the summer, which he successfully did and uh, helped Brazil to their first Copa America title since 2007. Now we heard earlier on that Janinho was going to replace Edu and then from then all the rumours were saying he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Well, it's official, Arsenal this week had signed Edu as a technical director and you know, they've put out some bold statements. They're saying that he's going to be working with the first team, he's going to be working with recruitment, with scouts, with Emery very closely. He's actually travelling to the US this week as we go on our pre-season tour of the US to play some games out there. So already head straight in uh, into the deep end and, and as I said you know I like the appointment um, most hopefully he brings some um, some good players through for Arsenal um, yeah I mean he work, he's been working with some of the best players in the world in, in, in Brazil you know he's worked with the likes of Neymar during the during the upcoming friendlies for the Copa America he's worked with you know the Dani Alveses and the Thiago Silvers of this world, you know, especially and the new up and coming players in Brazil as well, people like Everton and Richarlison. So he's He's got a knowledge of being at that level, working with those sort of players. So I don't feel like this is going to phase him as much. In fact, he sees it as coming home, which is what a statement that he put out. He's coming back home to Arsenal. It's a club that will always be in his heart. And we welcome you, Eddie. We welcome you. Let's hope that you can bring some, um, some good news back to Arsenal after a few barren years, shall we say, at the club. Um, another bit of news that has, has, has come out of Arsenal uh, this week is about Saliba now our reports are saying that the deal is done Saliba is an Arsenal player so we're here uh, Saliba is an 18 year old you probably heard his name bounce around the past few weeks from Saint Etienne he's a centre back um, and, and had a brilliant end to the season from what I hear in the last apparently Arsenal been tracking him for the past sort of five months of the, the French league on season and he's been sort of held a spot as centre back um, but of course he's 18 and you know he's quite young so um, we're hearing that we're going to send him back to St Etienne on loan for one more year um, to just get himself you know opportunities in the first team playing a whole season another whole season in league on hopefully keeping his place and staying injury free and then coming over to the Emirates next summer um, I don't know much about him I'll be honest I don't I've never really seen him play um, this is now a good opportunity for Arsenal fans and of course the scouts will, will be watching him to see if he actually plays and, and how well he plays and but you know it's, it's a positive thing you know it's looking to the future of Arsenal we can't be getting everyone in for right now or here and then you know we've got to look at the future of Arsenal and so bringing in this um, this centre back um, I think could, could help us um, in terms of our budget it shouldn't affect our budget too much because again as we know, Arsenal love to play in instalments. This looks like it's going to be a deal paid in instalments. If any, is going to be paid at the moment because um, St Etienne were keen to he keep him as much as we were willing and open, shall we say, to let him go to, to St Etienne for another year on loan. Um, so shouldn't affect our transfer budget much. Um, but we're hearing it's about 25 to 20, 26 million. Official announcement hasn't been made yet. Um, probably just going through the T's and C's of that but yeah we expect that deal to be done and it's, again it's a smart move from Arsenal you know a lot of people will be sniffing around him um, as he gets older so get it done get over the line and we move on and we've done that with Saliba we hope um, so we're here um, and again that shouldn't affect apparently our deals for the summer so um, I think Ornstein reported this uh, a few days ago that um, 
we're still interested in, in Tierney. Tierney deal is still ongoing. We're still in talks with him and Celtic to try and get that deal over the line. Um, there was rumours that Napoli were coming in for him last week, which pushed it, maybe pushed his price up a few mil. Um, but yeah, we're still talking about him. And again, as I mentioned in the video last week, I'd love to see him play for Arsenal. I'd love to see him at the left back taking over there. Um, there was actually rumours that Nacho Monreal's contract was going to be cancelled. Um, and had he not, he basically been released from his contract. But the pictures Arsenal put out, um, uh, well, Emery actually put out on his Twitter page of Arsenal getting back into first team training. Monreal was there along with some other players like Mustafi, who people were surprised that he was back in, in training at Arsenal, uh, as we, we thought we may have seen the back of him. But we can't release players if we haven't replaced them. So there's no point us getting rid of everyone and not having anyone to play there. Um, I know Chambers is coming back on loan. He started training at Arsenal, so we're waiting to see what happens with him. Um, Rob Holden as well has been part of the first team training, so let's hope he gets back in the squad as well. Um, and in, talking about the squad itself, um, I just want to say my congratulations, really, to four young Arsenal players who we believe have officially made the step up to the first team squad. Reese Nelson, back from his loan deal in Germany. Emil Smith Rowe, another one who was loaned out to German, um, Germany. He went to Leipzig last season. He's back and he's been given a first team squad number. And Eddie Inketia, who ended the season quite strongly with Arsenal, got a few games in, scored his first goal. Um, and Joe Willock. Joe Willock was the other one uh, promoted to the first team. So congratulations to all four of those. Um, it's a great deal for me. You know, you need to bring through our youth players. If you can't, if, obviously, you don't have the budget to be bringing in these high top quality players we've got to be signing these guys on long-term contracts I and mean, I know we haven't done that as yet for all of them but you know giving them squad numbers for the first team squad for the next season bringing them on tour and actually although we're disappointed to be in the Europa League we have to use what we can from it so it was brilliant to see Emil Smith Rowe get some games in the Europa League next year I want to see as in this season coming up I want to see Reese Nelson Smith Rowe and Ketia and Willock starting as a guaranteed and then the rest of the squad can be put around them for the Europa League and League Cup games. And then bring them on in the Premier League. Get them used to Premier League football. Stop, let's just stop keeping them um, afloat. Let's actually get them in the first-team squad and get them playing football for Arsenal. So, yeah, we'll wait to see what happens there. But it's definitely a good move. I definitely want to keep them at least until January. And that January, we can maybe assess if one or two can go out and learn for the rest of the season. Um, but it depends, again, who we bring in. Um, still quiet on the Zaha front. Since last week's news that we, we'd made an official bid, I've uh, not heard yet about any confirmation about Zaha signing. Talks apparently may have come to a standstill after Palace refuted the bid last that last came from Arsenal. And um, he's again trying to push up his price tag by bagging two goals at the African Cup of Nations for Ivory Coast. So, yeah, let's see what happens with there. There's a lot of talk about potential deals from Malcolm. Um, and apparently, yeah, Arsenal do have a winger on their wish list. They want to buy it, bring in a winger, a centre back, and a midfielder, and as well as Tierney as well. So, listen, we'll wait and see what happens with that man. But you know, good deal, good deals, good news so far. Martinelli was apparently with the first team squad training, so he may even get a run out this season. Um, and of course, Arsenal had their first pre-season game um, against Boreham Wood, which we drew three-three, and it was. Really, again, for the under-23s and the under-18s, um, as the first-team squad hadn't come back yet. Uh, one name that stood out from that game was Tyrese John Jules. Listen out for that name. Um, he played in a friendly when we went to a little pre-season friendly in Dubai and at the end of, in the last season. And he, he played against Bromwood, scored two goals. And from that, has been called up to the squad to go to the US, as well as the other young players. And I think Saka might be there as well. So, you know... Players like him, he's got a grasp of his opportunities when he gets it. And this is another big chance for him to try and get his name um, in Emery's thoughts for the upcoming season. Working, of course, with uh, Emery, Lundberg, and now Edu Gaspar. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, check out our other vids, and we'll see you soon.